Okay, so these are all of my foundations, BB creams, powders, things like that. I'm gonna organize them and then we will go through them one by one. So here they are. Let's start over here. This is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination, one of my favorite powder foundations of all time. It gives a lot of coverage, but it makes your skin look healthy, not like weird and dry and matte. I love this so much. So you'll see that in a second, I've been trying to find a drugstore dupe for it, so I bought a lot of powders that I'll probably get rid of because they're just not nearly as good. So definitely keeping that. This was one I bought. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. I just bought is what I was trying to say. Um, and it's very similar. It's a powder foundation. I'm trying it out to see if it is a dupe. I've had this before and I loved it, but it was a long, long time ago. So this might be a dupe for this. I'm going to be trying it out. I love it. Keeping both. This I'm gonna get rid of. This is the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Powder Foundation. And it just, it did made my, make my skin look really dry. It had okay coverage, but it was just like a standard drugstore powder that doesn't really impress you very much. So it, I'm just gonna get rid of it. This I'm also gonna get rid of. This is the Ofra Oil Control Press Powder. It, I don't like white powders. I just got this in a BoxyCharm decently recently. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and it just, it kind of makes your skin actually look white and I just don't like the way it looks on my skin. So I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. So these are key, let's get rid of. Okay, this Physician's Formula One, I think I'm gonna get rid of. It's one of those cushion foundations. There was a huge trend for like a hot second here in America and then no one cared about it anymore. Um, so I bought two of them. This one I didn't love. I really did like the L'Oreal one. So I'm gonna get rid of the Physician's Formula One and keep the L'Oreal one. This I need to return. This, again, I was trying to look for a dupe for the It Cosmetics one, um, and it's the matte finish, and you guys all told me it's a dupe if you get the illuminating finish. So I have the wrong one. I'm going to return it, and then I'm going to try and get the correct one to see if it is. This I love. It's the Maybelline Better Skin Transforming Powder, and it's just a really nice powder foundation. It really... It reminds me of this, to be honest. I need to try them side by side and see if it is. Um, this is amazing for touch-ups especially. It's how I love to use it throughout the day. And it has a huge mirror. So I think I'm going to take this with me to school and it's going to be in my makeup bag there because it's literally the perfect mirror, the perfect powder for me to lightly touch up throughout the day. Definitely keeping it. I love it. I'm going to get rid of the e.l.f. Daily Moisture Stick. It's just... It's, I love the idea. I used to use it a lot where you just get a little bit, you can put it on any dry areas of your face and it adds moisture without messing up your makeup. But I literally have not used it at all recently. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Same with these, these are e.l.f. oil absorbing pads. It's a cool idea where there's a sticky part and it pulls up the actual little like sheet to absorb the oil. But ask me if I've used it at all. No, I have not. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This, I'm so torn. I got, I thought I was gonna get rid of this a long time ago. Then I watched videos on how people use it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So I kept it. I used it for quite some time, but it's just gotten really, really gross. And there's not really a good way to clean it. It's kind of a silicone type cream where you can use the little sponge that comes with it to get some and put it on dry areas and it soaks up the oil. It makes it look nice without adding powder. However, it's just gotten so gross that I don't even want to use it. So I'm either going to find a way to clean it or just get rid of it. Honestly, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Makes me sad, but it is what it is. This is the Boots number no. 7 um, Perfect Light Loose Powder. And this is the only loose powder I have. And I feel like I should have at least one in my collection. I just don't use it often, but I do like having at least one. So if I see a tutorial and I'm like, oh, I want to try that, I want to at least have an option. And this really is nice. It just kind of mattifies your face. It soaks up oil, but it also kind of perfects and blurs the areas you use it in, which is why I like having it. So I am going to keep that. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I just bought it, but it is in the wrong shade. I got it in 204 
I got it in 205 and I need 204 now that I've kind of figured out what shade I am in the L'Oreal range. So I'm going to get rid of this, see if I can return it because I've literally only used it once. But I want to see how it is because I did not like the Pro Matte just because I have dry skin. So I have a feeling I'm going to really like this, but I'm going to get rid of it and get the right shade. This is another product I'm going to get rid of. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum and it's their gel foundation. I bought this when I was in Europe and I'm so sad to say that I don't like it. And I have tried applying it with a brush, with my fingers, with a sponge, everything. And it never looks good. It's, what I've decided is it gives me like no coverage, which is fine, but it also looks really obvious on my skin. Like it won't blend into my skin. So it's just a really like two strikes against this product. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I keep holding on to it thinking, oh, maybe it'll work, but it never has. So why will it all of a sudden start working? <laughs> I'm also getting rid of this. This is the Sonia Kasha Perfecting Luminous Foundation. Cheap packaging. I didn't like the primer of this. I don't like the foundation. It just sat on top of my skin. It did not blend anywhere. It was all bad. It's got a pump, which I like. It's overpriced. I think this was like $15. I might be wrong, but if I remember right, it was like $15 and certainly not worth it. Like not even close. So glad to get rid of that sucker. This is the Dr. Jart Black Label Detox Beauty Balm. It's got SPF of 25. I love this. I'm definitely keeping it. Probably my favorite BB cream of all time. At, well, the one in the gold tube is actually my favorite. It has a higher SPF, but it's the same brand. But this one's really good as well. I think when I do use this up, I'll probably repurchase the gold one since now I know I like it better. Um, all right. Moving on, this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And I have it in Wheat 4.5. And it's just a really nice tinted moisturizer. It has a decent amount of coverage, not a ton, but it has a lot more coverage than, actually I would say these are pretty comparable. They're really similar products. So um, I really, really like it. And I think this is actually a little bit more of an accurate shade for me versus this. They don't really, I think they have like two shade options for this one, if not just one. Um, but this one I really like. And I was surprised that it doesn't break me out because a lot of Bare Minerals like powder products break me out like crazy. So I'm glad this one doesn't. Keeping. All right, this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer. And this is an amazing drugstore tinted moisturizer. It just, it's, it is lightweight like they say. Um, it has SPF of 30. And I love the packaging. I just think it's kind of cute. And I love that it's got a little squeezy tube that goes to a point so you can be really, um, you know, you can keep it clean. And um, it's just got a little bit of coverage, but it's just nice. It's comfortable on the skin, doesn't break me out. And I feel like there are so many high-end BB creams that I like. So I was excited to find, uh, you know, a tinted moisturizer type product from the drugstore that was really good. So I'm definitely going to keep that. Let's do all of these at the same time because they kind of all go together. These are all of my IT Cosmetics CC Plus products. Most of these, except for this one, was sent to me at different times in different like PR shipments. Um, so they're all different shades. This giant one, which is the illumination kind, is in fair. It's too light for me. I've just got to get rid of it. I'm really sad, but it's just too light. All right, so these two are the same product. They're both in light, which is exactly my shade. So I know I'm going to keep this one because I just bought it and it's like the regular size. This one I kind of want to keep because I know once I use this up, I'm still going to want more. Plus, I can travel with it. Um, this one I'm torn because it is a little bit too dark for me, but I've mixed these together and I like it because it makes it just a little bit deeper, this one, and it also adds that little bit of illumination. It's really, really pretty. So I think I am gonna keep all of these. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Foundation. It's one of the few foundations, actually these last three are like the only foundations other than I guess this, um, that I own. So I really like this. I didn't know that I would, but it's, a really nice, it's like a thin consistency. It blends into your skin beautifully, but it really does have nice coverage. And this is in 204 Creamy Natural, which I've realized is probably what I should get for this L'Oreal one as well. So I'm definitely keeping that. I was so impressed. This is the Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate Foundation. And I really like this as well. I need to use it some more. You can tell I haven't used a ton of it, but I liked it for the first times I've used it a lot but it's been a while since I've used it again, so I feel like I need to try it. 
some more to determine if I want to keep it for the long haul or not. This is one of my favorite foundations. It's from Gorgeous Cosmetics, and um, it's their Base Perfect Foundation, and I love it. This is actually an unopened one, clearly, that I had had as a backup. The other one I'd gotten rid of because it had gotten really old. So I don't want to open this until I really, really need it, but this is like my special occasion type foundation. You know what I mean? So this is what I'm keeping up here. This is what I'm getting rid of. I think I did pretty well. Um, I'm going to be honest. I actually had filmed this specific video just a little bit ago, but I didn't turn the microphone on, so it recorded no sound, which is just the most frustrating thing in the world. But I'm glad it happened because originally I wasn't going to get rid of this, 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 no, this, 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 and that's it. So there were four more things when I went through it a second time that I decided, you know what, I am going to get rid of it. So I'm actually really glad that happened. And some of these things, like once I use it up, I'm not going to rebuy again. So like, obviously I don't need both of these, you know what I mean? Things like that. And these I'm going to test out and see, you know, if I love it all the way to the end, maybe I'll repurchase, but by then I'll probably be ready to try a different foundation. So, um, yeah, I think I did pretty well.